Hello children, here I am with solutions of final exam questions. Question 1 is, what? Find the side of cube whose surface area is 600 centimeter square. So what is given? Side, you have to find out cube, side of cube and surface area is given. Surface area we know it is 6a square. That is 600. So what is a square? 100. So a can be what? Plus minus 10. Because we know a is if plus 10 you square then also 100. Minus 10 also. Then also we will get 100. But we don't take minus 10. Because side of cube is never in negative. So we take a is plus 10. So a you are getting plus 10 centimeter so nula and one mark here two marks question question 2 is factorize x square minus 2x plus y square minus z square so this term we can write as x minus y whole square minus z whole square given brackets so that easy to formulate now, what do we know? a square minus b square will be what? Once we add a plus b and then we subtract. So, it is x minus y. 1 we are adding here plus z and we are subtracting here minus z. Question 3 is <coughs> Anika lived <clears throat> one half of her property to her daughter, one third to her son and donates the rest educational institute. So we suppose that Adinka has X rupees, X by 2 she has given to her daughter and to her son X by 3 and then donation is 1 lakh. So you have to find out how much she had. So all these x, x plus 2, x by 3 and donation amount we add that will be total amount. Now we simplify only x we bring this side mm, sorry x, my, x by 2 we variables we take R, in RHS left hand side and it is x all this x minus x by 2 with this side x by 3 so it will be negative and 1 lakh so now we take lcm lcm is 2 and 3 lcm is 6 so 2 3 is 6 if you take 1 2 3 lcm you already know 6 now here x is there 1x so it will be 6x minus 3x minus 2x 6x minus 6x minus 5x that will be xy6 is 1 lakh if you cross multiply that will be 6 lakh rupees or there is question that denominator of a rational number is greater than numerator by 8 so we suppose numerator is x so denominator will be x plus 8 now what is the relation given if the numerator is increased by 17, here see the left side question paper is there. Numerator is increased by 17 means what? X plus 17. Denominator is decreased by 1. That means denominator is X plus 8 already. We are decreasing so minus 1. The number is 9 by 4. That is 9 by 4. Now we already know we cross multiply means we multiply 4 into x 4x 4 into 17 68 9 into x 9x 9 into 7 63 now 68 minus 63 we bring this side 9x minus 4x variables one side and constant one side variable is x and constants are numbers 
सो सिक्सटी एट माइनस सिक्सटी थ्री विल बी फाइव एंड नाइन एक्स माइनस फोर एक्स विल बी फाइव इफ यू फाइंड आउट एक्स दैट विल बी वन सो एक्स प्लस एट विल बी नाइन सो आर रैशनल नंबर विल बी वन बाय नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर यू सिंप्लीफाई थ्री वाई प्लस फाइव होल स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री वाई माइनस फाइव होल स्क्वायर अगेन इट इज एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर फॉर्मूला दैट इज एक्स प्लस वाई आइडेंटिटी इज एक्स माइनस वाई वी कैन फाइंड आउट इन बो टू वेज मे बी यू सिंप्लीफाई फर्स्ट वन यूजिंग ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर दिस वन ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर एंड देन यू ओपन द ब्रैकेट एंड राइट डाउन द आंसर बहुत वेज वी विल सेम आंसर हियर आई हैव डन वन मेथड दैट वंस वी आर एडिंग इट इज थ्री वाई प्लस फाइव ऑलरेडी प्लस साइन एंड थ्री वाई माइनस फाइव सेकेंड केस ब्रैकेट ओपन एंड दिस साइन वी टेक माइनस साइन सो माइनस थ्री वाई एंड माइनस इन टू माइनस विल बी प्लस साइन एंड दिस नाउ वी सिंपली फाइव फाइव एंड फाइव कैंसिल थ्री वाई एंड थ्री वाई कैंसिल सो हियर वी आर लेफ्ट विथ सिक्स वाई एंड हियर फाइव प्लस फाइव टेन दैट विल बी टेन इन टू सिक्स विल बी सिक्सटी एंड वाई वी राइट सिक्सटी वाई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन फाइव नाइन हंड्रेड मेन हैड प्रोविजन फॉर फोर्टी टू डेज हियर इट इज डायरेक्ट एंड इनवर्स प्रोपोर्शन क्वेश्चन वी कैन डू बाई यूनिट्री मेथड ऑल्सो बट हियर डायरेक्टेड प्रोपोर्शन मेथड इज देयर सो फर्स्ट वी राइट इन टेबल यू नो हाउ टू मेक टेबल टू वेरिएबल्स आर देयर सो एक्स इज नंबर ऑफ मेन एंड वाई इज नंबर ऑफ डेज सो फर्स्ट केस वी हैव नाइन हंड्रेड परसेंट एंड फॉर डेज हाउ मेनी डेज आर देयर फोर फूड फोर्टी टू डेज सेकेंड केस वॉट हैपेंड फाइव हंड्रेड मेन अराइव दैट मीन्स नाइन हंड्रेड प्लस फाइव हंड्रेड फोर्टीन हंड्रेड एंड नंबर ऑफ डेज हाउ मेनी डेज फूड लास्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सो फर्स्ट वी सी दैट वेदर इट इज डायरेक्ट प्रोपोर्शन क्वेश्चन और इनवर्स प्रोपोर्शन सो इफ नंबर ऑफ मेन इंक्रीजेस फूड लास्ट नंबर ऑफ डेज फूड लास्ट विल बी लेस दैट मीन्स इट इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शन वट इज द फॉर्मूला एक्स वन वाई वन इक्वल्स टू एक्स टू वाई टू नाउ फ्रॉम द टेबल वी पुट द वैल्यू एक्स वन इज नाइन हंड्रेड वाई वन इज फोर्टी टू एक्स टू इज फोर्टीन हंड्रेड एंड वाई टू इज वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट now we simplify it y2 is 27 days we cancel it 100 here you know 14 3 ja so 9 into 3 27 days will be answer question number 6 is at what rate percent means rate you have to find out 640 amount to that means principal is given 640 Seven hundred seventy-four amount to means amount is also given. Time is two years. When compounded annually, we know the formula amount equals to p one plus r by hundred times six. So p we bring this side in into is there. So it will be division sign one plus r by hundred. If you simplify, we are getting eleven by hundred square. One plus r by hundred square. We know that if base power is same, we equate the base. So here it is. Base is what eleven by ten and one plus r by hundred. Now one we bring this side. It is eleven by ten minus one is r by hundred. So if you simplify, it is eleven minus one. That is one by ten. That r by hundred. So R is ten percent. Next question is question number seven, mensuration question. The volume of cylinder is given. Volume of cylinder is twelve thirty two centimeter cube. Edge is eight centimeter. We have to find out CSA. CSA means curved surface area. We have to find out. If you take the cylinder this way, 
volume is given and h is given 8 centimeter volume of cylinder is pi r square h pi is 22 by 7 so it is 12 32 equals to 22 by 7 into r into r into 8 when you simplify you are getting r is 7 centimeter this we put in the formula curve surface area of cylinder that is 2 by r h putting the and simplifying the value you are getting 352 centimeter square that is 44 into 8 if you multiply it is 352 centimeter square question number 8 is exponent question 2 to the power 0 is 1 4 to the power minus 1 we can write 1 by 4 if we change and we know that a to the power minus m will be 1 by a to the power m and 3 square is 9 so it is 9 by 4 2 to the power minus 1 into 4 to the power minus 1 divided by 2 to the power minus 2 it is 1 by 2 4 minus 1 is 1 by 4 and it is 1 by square so 1 by 2 into 4 is 8 that is 2 cube division sign that means we will change the 2 square so it is 1 by 2 will be answer question number 9 is equation simplify the equation so 3 into 5x 15x 3 into 7 21 minus sign 2 into 9x 18 minus and minus 12 22 32x minus 52 minus 17 so we will add both sign is minus sign so 69 so 15x 15x minus 18x will be minus 3x minus 21 plus 22 will be 1 and here rhs is uh, as it same we have written now minus 3x minus 32x is minus 35x minus 69 minus 1 will be minus 70 here it is minus 3x minus 32x is minus 35x minus 69 minus 70 so x will be plus 2 that will be answer section c 10th Question number 10 is Ram borrows, Ram borrows 12,500 rupees. Rate is 12%, time is 3 years. But Radha borrows 12,500 rupees, sim compound interest, 10% rate of interest per annum, and time is 3 years. So, question is who pays more interest and by how much? So, we have to find out first what is the interest, whether it is SI or CI, both cases. So, SI is we know PRT by 100, where P is principal, R is rate of interest per annum, and time is in years. So, 12,500 into 12 into 3 by 100. 0 cancel and we are left with 4500 rupees so this is simple interest now for radha it is amount we find out first amount is p into 1 plus r by 100 time we put the value it is 1 plus 10 by 100 if you simplify it is 11 by 10 and after cancellation if you cancel it it is one 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 six six three seven point five rupees so what is compound interest we know difference between amount and principal so it is four one three seven point five now one more question is there by how much it is who pays more so ram pays more interest as four five zero zero is more than four one three seven point five by how much if we take the difference it is 362.5 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इट इज और वन मोर क्वेश्चन इज देर वॉट इज दैट दे वॉट वन सिक्सटी के जी ऑफ मैंगोज सो सी पी ऑफ वन सिक्सटी के जी ऑफ मैंगोज एट द रेट फोर्टी एट रुपीज पर के जी इज वन सिक्सटी एट इंटू फोर्टी एट दैट इज सेवन सिक्स एट जीरो रुपीज नाउ एस पी ऑफ एटी परसेंट ऑफ दैट एस पी ऑफ एटी परसेंट ऑफ मैंगोज एट सेवेंटी रुपीज पर के जी दैट मीन्स एटी परसेंट इज वॉट वन सिक्सटी एटी परसेंट इज वी फाइंड आउट इट इज दिस एट द रेट ऑफ सेवेंटी रुपीज सो इट इज वन ट्वेंटी एट इंटू सेवेंटी That is eight nine six zero piece. Now SP of remaining remaining means what twenty percent. What is the rate? It is forty rupees per kg. Per kg. That is one sixty twenty percent is thirty two into forty. If you cancel it. That will be one two eight zero. Now, what will be total SP? Total SP will be eight nine six zero plus one two eight zero. That will be one zero two four zero. So we see that as it is more SP is more than CP. So profit is ten thousand two forty minus eight nine six zero. Sorry, it is seven six eight zero seven six eight zero. That will be two five six zero rupees. Now we have to find out one more that how much percent is so profit is. We know profit by CP in two hundred. That is two five six zero by seven six eight zero in two hundred. If you cancel it. We are getting thirty three point three three percent. That will be answer. <coughs> Next question is question number eleven. We have to factorize and then divide twelve x nine x square minus sixteen y square divided by four x y three x plus four y twelve x y. It is three x. If you factorize it, three x minus four y divided by four x y, three x plus four y cancel, x here cancel, y also four three ja, so we are left with three three x minus four y. That will be answer. It is second part is. Four y z z square plus six z minus sixteen divided by two y z plus eight. First we have to factorize, so it is four y z minus sixteen. If you break, that is eight z minus two z minus sixteen by two y z plus eight. That is four y z z z plus eight minus two z plus eight divided by two y z plus eight. Again, it is four y z z plus eight. This z minus two by two y z plus eight. Z plus eight will cancel here. Two y and this. So we are left with two z z minus two. That will be answer. Last question is question number twelve. That is length, breadth, and height is given. First is we have to find out four walls of roof. So area of four walls is twice into L plus B into H to fifteen plus ten into four. Fifteen plus ten will be twenty five. So it is two hundred meters square. 
rate is given 100 meter square 500 rupees so 200 meter square will be 1000 rupees now we have to find out cost of painting the ceiling ceiling is length into breadth we put the value it is 150 meters square at the same rate we have to find out so cost will be 500 that is 400 and remaining for 250 that will be 750 rupees total surface area of room we know formula 2 into lb plus bh plus hl after putting the value it is 2 into 250 that is 500 meters square so this way we solve all complete questions of this question paper